one word frees us all of the weight and the pain of life, and that word is love, Sophocles once said. And oh, what a beautiful love story we have to celebrate here today between Emily and Kevin. For our Disney princess has truly found herself a worthy prince. Emily, I can't believe the day is finally here. I am tearing up as I write this because you have become the most special person in my life. All the miles we've driven and flown to. Here's to you, Kevin. Cheers. Cheers, dude. Heat index warning. About 109 today. Please don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't, please don't. <laughs> Shanna, don't. My plan is to get myself very dehydrated so there's no tears to come out. Zam Zam, aka Kevin. Oh, hello, baby. I bet you never thought she'd be marrying MEG the intern. We have been waiting for this day for three years now. I still remember the very first words you said to me, is that your truck out there? Not much of an opening line, but I guess it did the job. All set. Oh, I'm ready to get married. Before I had you, I did not think I was meant to fall in love, nor did I think it would ever happen to me. I could still remember the nights I would ask God for someone to walk through my life with, and then he gave me you. I promise to be the best wife I can. I promise to share in your joy and comfort you in your time of sorrow. I promise to be open and honest with you. I promise to put 100% effort into us. Forever and always, your Emily. P.S. Can't wait to watch you cry when I come down the aisle. That's true. That's true. Sam and I love you so much. We are going to protect you every single day. You are going to have a dedicated husband that will stand by you through anything. I love you, baby babe. My lady friend, my fiance, my wife, love your soon-to-be husband, Kevin. That was cute. I liked that. Hi, Kevin. It's going to be really hot today, but so are you. I'll see you in a bit. I love you. Bye. The love of Christ on the cross. Kevin and Emily, that call to be an image of that love in the world is now yours through the vows you give to each other this afternoon. And Kevin and Emily, we are in need of your living witness of that kind of love. We ask the outpouring of the Holy Spirit from God that you will grow in the commitment you enter into today with the passing of the years that God gives you. And it is with great joy that I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Kevin and Emily Zambori. Emily, you married a great person. I'm proud of you more than ever. <clears throat> Kevin, I don't have much advice for you. I do know you're marrying my favorite person in the whole world. I do know you make our daughter happy, loved, and secure. I ask you to love her as much as her mother and I do. Yeah, I never thought there could be a, someone that you loved more than Ram Trucks, the Dallas Cowboys, or dirt track races, but there is, and her name is Emily. Kevin has a great heart, and you're really getting a great guy, Emily. Much like a marriage, this bottle has both the possibility of spilling or tasting a little off after so many years, or it could be the best wine you've ever tasted, such as life. It is my hope that if you do open it, Whatever the taste is, it's once of a lifetime of love and happiness. Everybody, grab your drink to the newest Mr. and Mrs. Zambori. May you always walk in sunshine. May you never want for more. And may Irish angels rest their wings right beside your door. Emily and Kevin, I really love you. To Emily and Kevin. <laughs>